Hey there, I'm so glad you're with me again today. Um, I like this little spot that I'm in. I'm excited that, that uh, maybe you can uh, uh, come up and check out um, part of, part of uh, what I've been doing up here. One, this is what I call my gazebo tree, and it's just a beautiful tree that literally provides great shade and, and um, a wonderful spot to just soak up uh, nature and soak up Jesus. I'm hoping that's what you're doing today, is soaking up some time with Jesus. Um, and each, each day in the devotions, as I've been showing you a little teaser of uh, what I'm doing at my house, I wanna, I wanna give you a, a little sample of some things that, that uh, you could do if you make it up here through the stretch program. We're gonna have a celebration at the end of our stretch season. And so check out this, this first one. Um, it's the salmon ladder. And then um, I'm gonna come back to you and finish out our devotions uh, for today. made it so maybe you can go up and come all the way down I was close no cigar this time come up check it out hey uh, <laughs> I hope you like that that's the salmon ladder it's a fun it's a fun experience um, I would love to see you give it a whirl uh, hey yesterday I talked to you a little bit about verse 28 of Luke 7 where Jesus said blessed are the ones that do not stumble on account of me. There's actually three verses that I want us to just kind of focus on. So you got your Bible open, turn it open and look at verse 28 real quick. That's what we looked at yesterday. Verse, uh, what is it, 20, 23 we looked at yesterday, I'm sorry. 28 we'll look at today and verse 35 we'll look at tomorrow. Um, they're beautiful because these three little verses is a little tag that Jesus tags on to that experience. Um, John's disciples come, they have their question about his doubt, he sends them back, tags this little blessing. Um, the next section, um, they're wondering, the crowd's wondering about, about John and who he is and whether he's a, a man of faith or if he's waffling, if he's kind of like a, a reed blowing in the wind. And Jesus defends John and then tags on this little statement. He says, yet the least of these in the kingdom of God is greater than he. What is he saying? That little statement that Jesus makes is another word of Christ, right? So yesterday, I referenced Colossians 3.16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And what I'm encouraging us to do is think about, if I wanna be blessed, Jesus says you will be blessed whenever you hold on to my words, right? When you trust the evidence of who I am, when you trust the testimony of what I've done, of, so that when I hold on to those things, I'm experiencing his blessing. And now in this section, little section, he says that basically everybody can become great. We all can become great. Um, I referenced in the message this week, um, Mark chapter 10, verse 45, which is a beautiful passage. Love it. It says, um, for even the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. For whoever wants to be great in the kingdom of God must become the servant of all. Whoever wants to become great. So Jesus is saying, John is the greatest. He's the greatest. And then he turns on a dime and says, yet whoever's the least in the kingdom of God can be greater than him. What is he saying? He's saying that all of us have this ability to enter into the greatness of God, to enter into great blessing, to enter into great worship, to enter into being used as a great messenger. That was his point about John. He was a great prophet a great messenger, and so can you. God wants you and I to become great messengers. And the only way I'm gonna carry the message of Christ is for the message of Christ to carry me. When I dwell in Christ's words richly, those words carry me, and I carry those words. I'm hoping that you are meditating on scripture, that you're soaking up God's blessings for you, soaking up his word for you. Because when you do, as you do, you will find riches. Dwell in his word 
daily. Lord, we just want to soak up who you are. God, we, we posture ourselves as the least, Lord, the, that we recognize that we want to be poor in spirit. We want to hold a low view of ourselves and a high view of you. It was John the Baptist in, Luke, in John chapter 3, verse 30, I believe it is, 30 or verse 20, who said, I must decrease, he must increase. Lord Jesus, we want to decrease. We want to become people that do not need the spotlight, but want to put the spotlight back on you. Help us to do that today. We love you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness in Jesus' precious name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We're going to look at one more powerful little verse tomorrow in a trio of things. The first one, verse 32, helps us mitigate our hurt when we receive God's blessing. The second one in verse 28 helps us to magnify our hope, our hope of becoming someone more important in the kingdom, great in the kingdom, as we embrace our own vulnerability and weakness. Tomorrow we'll look at one more of these beautiful little tags that Jesus has placed within this text. I'll see you tomorrow.